In today's video, we'll be taking a look at a cancelled Batman Arkham project that was supposed to be developed by WB Montreal, who some of you may know as the creators of Gotham Knights, or even the extremely underrated and forgotten fourth game of the Arkham series, Batman Arkham Origins, back in 2013. The reason that Origins is never really mentioned is because it wasn't developed by the creators of the original Arkham trilogy, Rocksteady. But that's really besides the point. The reason that this caught my attention now was due to the recent release of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, and how it is a continuation of the Arkham verse we all know love. Now I'm not really going to get into the hate or much talk regarding Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League as I've already done that, but I am curious now as to how well this game would have been received if it was released instead of Kill the Justice League. This could have been the continuation to the Arkhamverse that many of the fans of Batman or even just the gaming series would have wanted. And our thoughts on the legacy of the Arkham games could be a little bit different, especially now with hindsight being 2020 and seeing how badly received Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League has been so far. We cover cancelled games here on the channel from time to time and today we will only be covering this one specifically and this isn't breaking news or anything like that but I did hear rumblings about this game and its cancellation a few years ago. I just never really looked into it. Now I want to and I would like to learn for myself some of its details. Maybe its plot or maybe even the reason behind the cancellation. So thank you so much for joining me and let's go ahead and get right into it. Well the game was originally codenamed Project Sabbath and it was supposed to take place after the Batman Arkham Knight ending. The plot, according to reports and many gaming forums, revolved around Damian Wayne, Batman's son with Talia al Ghul, and it would have taken place about 10 years after the events of Arkham Knights. This would put Bruce Wayne somewhere around his early 50s. Bruce Wayne would become his son's mentor and guide him through the streets of Gotham, kind of like Alfred did for him back in his prime. Damian Wayne would have basically filled the role that Terry McGinnis did in the Batman Beyond series. However, the people at WB Montreal felt it would be easier to sell Damian Wayne to the gaming audience rather than introduce Producing Terry. The game villains would have featured the return of Poison Ivy and this one would have probably been a little bit different than the one that we get in Kyo the Justice League and it would have also featured a female black mask. <laughs> Gorilla Grodd, and Two-Face. The project would have had Dick Grayson, whose role in the game was really unknown, but he could have potentially been an ally to you in an aging Bruce Wayne. It also seemed like Gotham City was in an extremely bad state, and the game seems like it would have been gritty and more closely based on the original trilogy and even the game that W Montreal put out with Arkham Origins. Now, the reason for the game's cancellation is still relatively unknown. There has been much speculation regarding why it was canceled. An actor that was supposed to play the titular character Damian Wayne came out with an interview recently where he said that the reason the game never came out was due to leaks. He says that a lot of the game began to be exposed online and that Warner Brothers Games decided to pull the game and move on to other projects. Another reason surrounding the game's cancellation, according to the rumors, revolved around the studio canceling many projects all at once. However, this is pure speculation. And at the time, apparently this Arkham game was canceled as well as a Superman game and even another Suicide Squad game. The studio would eventually move on to release Gotham Knights, which we know didn't do very well. WB Games will probably never announce the true reason behind the project's cancellation, but something tells me that it might have been the wrong call. This game could have potentially been better than Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League and even Gotham Knights, at least in my opinion. I think that I like the concept of what this could have been way more than the games that we actually got. And to focus a little bit on the actual concept art, it showed an older Batman with a beard and a Damian Wayne that is coming to terms with taking on the mantle of Batman. It seems like he starts off with a Batman suit similar to that of Batman's traditional colors, all black, before upgrading and adopting an identity of his own and really enjoying that Batman with the red Batman symbol. The concept art of the game also showed Gotham City in its current state. It is worse than we had ever really seen it, and it looked beaten down, and even the great Wayne Enterprises seems to have fallen. Now that is all I have regarding this cancelled Batman game and I think it would have been really cool to see and I think it would have adopted a similar approach to Arkham Origins in terms of boss battles and it might have also kept the Arkham fighting style that both Suicide Squad killed the Justice League and Gotham Knights lacked. It would have been a truly epic game and it could have possibly given us a brand new trilogy and a new and proper way to continue telling stories within the Arkhamverse. Thank you so much for joining me and looking back at this cancelled game and what could have been. I really enjoyed working on this and you know speculating a little bit together and I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys think down in the comments below. This is a game that I feel I would have played so hard and it's even a game that I would love to see made potentially even now. Thank you so much for watching you guys once again. If you enjoyed please remember to like and subscribe as it truly does help the channel and we are closing in on 3,000 subscribers. And if you've made it this far, I'd like to ask you guys a question. What would you think if I sprinkled some potential let's plays on the channel? Not full, 
games, not all the time, but just here and there. Maybe when we revisit a game a couple years after its release, we could do maybe a 30 minute uh, let's play together to see kind of how it holds up in 2024. But I don't know. It's just something that I want to throw out to some of the people that watch the channel consistently. And I'd like to know if you guys would be interested in that. Either way, once again, thank you. And I will see you in our next video.